There is no freaking way that this machine's about to go 1500 inches a minute. I am a little nervous. Holy sh I'm like worried it's gonna come off the damn rails and hit me. In this video, we're gonna try to break my CNC. We're gonna be going from 100 inches a minute to upwards of 1,000 inches a minute to see what breaks first. Is it gonna be the machine, the bit, or me? We're gonna be spinning this spindle at 24,000 RPMs, cutting through two different materials, cherry and birch, that way we have two varying densities, and if we're gonna be using my favorite new CNC bit, the Golden Boy, this is part of the Gold Digger family of bits, and I designed these to be the fastest bits on the market. They're meant to cut fast and stay sharp, so this bit should be able to handle anything this machine throws at it, but who knows? Let's get right into it. All right, we got our materials held down, our gold digger bit in. We are cutting a quarter inch deep into this material and I have not ran this machine anywhere near as fast as I'm about to run it. I don't think it's that practical, but once again, this is for y'all guys' entertainment, your guys' education, and I hope it works. Let's go. So I've got my safety glasses on, bracing for impact. Let's start off pretty slow at 100 inches a minute. Well, that was super anticlimactic. Let's go to 200 inches a minute. inches a minute no problem so far so good but that was child's play let's start pushing this machine's limits next 400 inches a minute let's go dude that is awesome 400 inches a minute like butter and that cut quality is super good so let me give you a close-up that how good that cut quality is and then i think we actually have to reprogram this because it only goes up to 400 inches a minute so i gotta kind of go in there and mess with the settings of this machine to to get it up to that 600 inches a minute which is next all right so we're gonna have to go in settings real quick go to setup click that x-axis and see the maximum feed rate is 400 inches a minute so i'm gonna set it at some ridiculous speed 1500 inches a minute, something like that. Boop. I like making the sound effects. And boom. And so now, can run faster. The max feed rate is set a little bit higher. So now, we're ready to run. And next up, 600 inches a minute, baby. Let's go! Woo! That's getting a little squirrely, hang on. That was. Man, when it hit that cherry, bam, you know, like, it, it got some sauce to it. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going up to 800 inches a minute and see if the bid or the machine can handle it. It's, it's getting a little squirrely, though, baby. Ew! 800 inches a minute, baby, let's go. A little nervous, man. A little nervous on this one. It did it. It didn't love it. It didn't love it at 800 inches a minute, baby, but it did it. I don't know if you guys caught this, but you see it kind of jump when it hit that cherry. I think this machine's at its breaking point. I know damn well I am, because I don't want to actually break this machine, but I made a promise to y'all at the beginning of this video that I'm going to try to break this machine to really test its limits. I don't think anybody in their right mind would actually want to do this, because this machine is my baby, but let's keep on running it. Next up, a thousand inches a minute, cutting through two different materials, 24,000 RPMs with that gold digger bit, and it hopefully doesn't freaking break. I'm a little nervous about a thousand inches a minute. This is only a, like a hobby CNC, a desktop CNC. So I don't know how a thousand inches a minute's gonna do. I actually don't know what's gonna break first, the bit or the machine. Right here, baby, it's gonna go a thousand inches a minute, right through here. Oh my God. Let's do it, baby! Let's 
go. The bit didn't break, but the machine did. Thousand inches a minute is where it tops out in cherry with A1 Finity. Looks like it cut the plywood just fine because it's lower density. Oh, my bit didn't break though. <laughs> that is crazy that that little bit can handle what those machines are pushing out. Come in and get a look at this because like hopefully y'all's machines don't stop in the middle of a cut. Things got a little hairy right there. All right, so the good news is the CNC still works, which is fantastic. The bad news is it stopped at a thousand inches a minute and I still think it has a little bit more left in the tank if we weren't cutting that cherry. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut, take this cherry off of the table and we're only gonna cut the plywood and we're gonna see if we can get up to 1500 inches a minute. I've never ran it that fast. I hope the machine doesn't break again and really break for good. <laughs> Damn. This thing's actually pretty legit. I think I'm gonna keep it as a memento. Where do y'all guys think I should hang it? You think I should hang it on this back wall or right here on the side wall? Let me know in the comments, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Much appreciated because, yeah, I'm breaking my machine for y'all guys. All right, so I positioned the birch plywood in the center of the table. Our tool path is still 36 inches wide, but I put it in the center. That way it can actually reach that max speed, and so it's right in the center. So if it actually does reach that 1,500 or 1,200 inches a minute, it should be inside the plywood when it does that. So first up, 1,200 inches a minute into this plywood. Let's go. I'm still nervous. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. Woo! Oh, I thought a thousand was scary. Now, I, I know I said I was a little bit worried before, but after seeing that thing go 1,200 inches a minute through that plywood, there is no flipping way this thing's gonna go any faster. I'm like worried it's gonna come off the damn rails and hit me. Let's see if it can handle 1,500 inches a minute. Woo! I am a little nervous. There is no freaking way that this machine's about to go 1,500 inches a minute and cut a quarter inch deep. There is no flipping way this is about to go down. What do y'all guys think? You think the bit should break or the machine should break first? I don't know. There's no freaking way it's gonna go this fast though. Let's do it, baby. 1,500 inches a minute. Let's go. That one actually sounded much worse than the first one. Not gonna lie. Everything's still intact there? <sighs> Holy sh! <laughs> this is cool. I'm speechless, actually. That was freaking cool. The machine still works. I'm pretty sure I damaged some stuff internally on it forever. Let's look at the results, baby. All right guys, so obviously running something that fast is highly impractical and the cut quality did drop the faster we went along, but I don't actually think it dropped that much. And I think the key takeaways from all of this is that bits in CNC's are capable of a lot more than you think and the gold digger bits are freaking awesome. I'm so glad we came out with them. So once again, I hope this helped you understand stuff on your CNC journey. And as always guys, remember, if you ain't cutting it close, you ain't cutting it right. <laughs>